sometimes there are actually no symptoms to when you have AVM. So yes. how is it diagnosed and how do you know if a patient has uh, AVM? Or well, well, in these cases, the patient presents with some other symptoms, you know, there are dizziness or headaches for some other reasons, like for unruptured aneurysm. So then you do, an, uh, then you do a study and then you see a, an AVM. Mm -hmm. And so how do you deal with the patient that has those symptoms? How do you go from, if, if they're saying like dizziness or they have numbness or, or as we explained, blurriness, how do you from there diagnose? Right, so we have tremendous advance in imaging as well. So you can, an MRI is a beautiful mm -hmm. study and you can actually really have a great visualization of the AVM, especially its location. For the fine details of the AVM, uh, in particular to plan treatment, Right. Uh, then you need to do an angiography. So you, it's cather angiography. You uh, you thread a, a, a cather from the femoral artery in the groin and go all the way up, and then mm -hmm. you can check contrast and take this mapping of the AVM. So and this, you can do the fine details and then decide which treatment is more appropriate. There's different type of way to approach this AVM.